My name is uh, Janela Bastin. I'm joining you from Ramon's village uh, here in Belize. So in the beautiful island of San Pedro. Um, I'm joined by my manager, Mr. Ainer Gomez, who will now and again um, be will help, help me with uh, speaking regarding Ramon's village. Hello, welcome. Hi, hi, uh, Janelle and Ainer. Thank you for joining us. This is Cara Donna's August Masterclass Series, and we're gonna be traveling to Belize today. Um, we'll have the presentation, and at the end, we'll do a 15 minute question and answer session with our agent, Kim Mackey. So Ramon's Village is a top seller for us, and uh, we're looking forward to your presentation. Janelle, thank you. Okay, so we're going to take a trip to Ramon's Village. But before we go to Ramon's, um, many of you may be wondering where Belize is. Well, we're a small uh, country located in Central America, and we're um, bordered by Mexico in the north. We have um, Guatemala to the south and west of us, and we're, uh, we have the Caribbean Sea to the east of us. We're the only Central American country whose first language is English. We also have the lowest population that, um, density in Central America with 35 people per square mile or 14 people per square kilometer. We have diverse cultures that make up our population, and we have six districts. Um, the Corozal District, Orange Walk, the Belize District, Cayo District, the Stan Creek District, and Toledo. And San Pedro is not exactly on mainland, and it's considered to be a part of the Belize District. And um, we'll take a little trip to San Pedro. And uh, to get there, you'd, you'd be able to, um, you, you can either access San Pedro via air, which would take you maybe 15 minutes, or by water taxi, which is an hour and a half tops. Getting around San Pedro, many people choose golf carts to, as their um, mode of transportation, but you'll definitely see uh, vehicular traffic. You'll also have trucks around. Um, back in 2010, we had about 11,000 plus people on the island, but I'm pretty sure by now it's doubled. Um, so yeah, Ramon's Village Divers. Um, it was established in 1970s and um, it's one of the oldest and the largest dive operations in the country of Belize. And we're, we're proud to say that uh, we have many divers who come to Ramones each year and dive groups that frequent our resort because of the services that we offer and the experiences that they have when they come home. Um, we cater to both the novice and the experienced diver. And you know that's what makes us unforgettable because we're able to work with both um, at the same time. Some facts about us, we're the only five-star paddy IDC center on the island. Um, like I said, we're the largest and the oldest dive operation in the country. We have a total of 16 certified guides on staff, ranging from five years to 16 years with us. Um, we have a compressor on property, including nitrox gas, tank range, uh, 100 CU, 80 CU, and 63 CU. And we do equipment rentals, um, Mars and Aqua, Aqua Lung. The brands. Yeah, that, that's the brands. Um, I'm not too familiar with the, <laughs> the diving brands. Um, our fleet of boats, we have two Newton 46 feet, 24 max diver capacity. We have two custom dive boat, dive boat pros, um, 42 feet, that's 16 max diver capacity, three 34 foot boats and three 28 foot uh, fishing boats. And those are just some pictures of um, our boats and, you know, uh, guests on them. Our types of dives, and this is where we're gonna go a bit in depth, um, our local and out island dives. So our local dives are five minute boat rides from Roman Pier in front of San Pedro. These are 60 foot, uh, 50 minute canyon dives, nurse sharks and groups. Ramans can these these dive sites are Ramans Canyons, B and D Canyons, Esmeralda Canyons, Tuffy Canyons, and Tackle Box Canyons. That's a ninety foot, uh, fifty minute dive, right? Yes. Okay. Um, and then we have the Halchan Marine Reserve, and that's a marine park. It's a shallow dive, and right outside of the reef, and there's tons of marine life to see there. Um, there are ten minute dives. Oh, 10 minute boat rides from Romans Pier to up to 90 feet dives, north of town, mostly cavern dives. So those are sites like Mexico Rocks, m, &M Canyons, uh, Pescador, 
Matakanyans, and Treskokos. On, uh, in, on the entire island, we would have over 40 dive sites um, on the island. And the island stretches for about um, uh, 30 miles from north to south um, and includes about the 40 dives. Those that are listed there are just the popular dive sites that we have and are in close proximity to our pier. And those are, we, we normally would do um, single tank or double tank dives. So in, with groups, we can do back-to-back -back dives where we go to the, to the, 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 the site that is um, 10 minutes away, come back, um, get a snack, and then go, go right back to the, the, the 15 minute site. Sometimes we would do um, um, sites that are further up the coast, like maybe 13 miles or up to 20 miles up coast where we are yeah, in areas we call the Rocky Point or Basso Jones area. And there we would do maybe, maybe three dives and up to 90 foot dives. Okay. Um, our Alp Allen dives um, are Blue Hole, and Cherna, those are our most, our, our, our most popular ones. Um, and for the Blue Hole trip, um, it would be for experienced divers, 15 plus years, and it's a minimum of eight persons. No, no, 15 year olds. Oh, 15 plus, okay. Okay, so 15, 15 year olds and over. Um, it's a minimum of eight persons that could we can take out to do the dive. That'd be a minimum. Yeah, we a minimum. would confirm a trip with a minimum, but normally during the high season, we would have trips, um, on scheduled days and we would do a uh, schedule like let's say on Wednesdays and Saturdays or or Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays depending on the volume of people we have because we're not really confined to those two divers that staying at Ramones but we service the entire uh, island. island. Yeah. So we would, would set days uh, during the high season um, and we would confirm trips with a minimum of eight. Um, this, the Blue Hole Dive is actually an all day um, trip and it leaves our pier at 5.30. Um, it's a two hour boat ride and it returns at 5.30 in the evening. Um, it includes continental breakfast, lunch and snacks. And it's a quick, we, have, we also have between that a quick stop at the Boobies Bird Sanctuary on Half Moon Key. And we're the only one in the world who has um, a booby bird sanctuary. <laughs> uh, Turnip. Is our other dive? The um, um just uh, sorry um, on Go the ahead. on the blue hole trip, the first dive would be the blue hole dive, which would we would which would be at about one hundred and twenty five to one hundred and thirty feet dive, uh, and then and then we do the a dive at at um uh, lighthouse at Half Moon Key. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. and then we do the aquarium dive. Um, they're all. Uh, the Blue Hole trip is a, a must for any diver. Uh, when you when you're in Belize, uh, the, the the Blue Hole dive is uh, you're not a diver until you've been in the Blue Hole, actually. Um, and but the um, the the aquarium is one of the prettiest dives, and it's one of the the furthest dive sites out in in the off the coast of Belize. Um, it's, it's a really beautiful dive. Yeah. Um, and then um, on to our Turnip, yeah, a Turnip Key Dive. Yeah, the tur Turnip is another of the outlet. We have three hotels in Belize. Uh, there's the the the, um, the Lighthouse Reef, where the Blue Hole is at. And then we have Turnip, which is it's closer to the mainland, um, and it's the largest one. And then we have Glover's Reef, which is a little bit south. Um, Turnip is, is, a, is, a, is a, it's a very large atoll, uh, probably the largest on this, this part of the world. Um, and we have, um, we have different dive sites there. And on weather permitting, we would, do, we would do three dives, like we would do on Lighthouse Reef. Um, and we have uh, three, or uh, we have some listed, some popular sites there, depending on weather and accessibility, um, then when we would do the, the three of the most popular dives that are there. Yeah, um, and those sites, popular sites um, that are listed here are Rendezvous, and Mini Elbow, Vincente, and Sandy Sloop. And those are three 90 and 60 foot dives. Either yes. they're, they're combined or yeah. yeah. Okay, and this is also an all day trip and it leaves um, 7.30 and returns at 4.30 and it's a 90 minute boat ride depending on the different areas that you go. 
Yes. Okay. And then um, it includes uh, continental breakfast, lunch, and snacks. And um, guys, these rates and the packages, these are going to be, um, you, you can contact your Cardona agent for rates and that kind of stuff. They'll be the ones to be able to tell you um, more about it. We do have, um, like with, with groups, where groups are concerned, we try to keep our groups together. Um, if it's more than what the, 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 the boat would carry, we would obviously um, add another boat. But um, so on an, under normal circumstances, we would try to keep the group together. Okay. Um, our courses and these range. Um, I've just listed a few, a few of our... Um, courses that we do have. And like I said, um, our Cardona, your Cardona agent will have um, an extensive list and uh, of rates and packages that you can um, look at. So we do um, scuba review, scuba instruction, scuba diver, uh, advanced open water, open water and specialty dives um, or courses. And um, we have nitrox specialty and we have medic first aid, scuba rescue and some other um, courses that we do offer. Um, our amenities go from, they range, they will, we have an instruction, um, an instruction center. Uh, we, we have, a, yeah, that, that instruction, instruction center, center. Uh -huh. in, 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 on the pier. Uh -huh. yes. On the pier, we have a locker room and so when divers come in, they don't have to carry their uh, their equipment with them. Every time they go diving, they have locker rooms and they're able to access that at the dive shop. And we have a lounge and waiting area. And we also have uh, Ramon's Village Outfitters, it's like our gift shop on the pier. So if maybe you don't, you forgot maybe some screen or some kind of, um, maybe some stock gear or something like that, you can definitely buy it there. Okay, so we're going to go on a little trip to the Blue Hole.
Alrighty. So, um, yeah, that was a video of uh, one of our uh, guys diving at the blue hole. Um, so we're going to go right into... Um, before we continue on, on, on the dive shop, I, I have to add that our, our dive... Um, we're equipped with a total staff. Did, did you go through that, Jimmy? Of six, five, the, yeah. we, 16 we, certified, that, yeah. Was that mentioned? Yes. Okay. So, 16 certified guides, five to, um, five to 16 years of experience, um, and, and um, work here with us, employment here with us at Rumble. Thank you. Yes. Um, so my favorite part, I'm, I get to speak about Ramones and why I love it so much. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> but um, life at Ramones and what we're all about. So we're going to go into, um, you know, Ramones. It's a hidden lush flora and fauna. Hidden behind lush flora and fauna, Ramones is the ultimate getaway from the bustling life on the island. Truly an enchanted forest. And we have dubbed ourselves the Enchanted Forest because, um, you know, when walking into Ramones, you're instantly captivated by just um, how tranquil it is when you uh, walk into just such a welcoming environment. And you really are just not aware of the life on the island when you're here because it's just so quiet, and it's just so homely and so um, relaxing. Um, and Ramones, the history, I couldn't begin to tell you all the things that we've been through, but all the things that we've overcome and uh, went through and how many people we now consider family and each time that they come here, it's just, uh, you know, we have many repeat guests um, as, you know, we've all, I, I've seen now and um, I could understand why, because when you're here, it's like um, we're, a little, we're a little village and we really become family um, when you're here. Um, the history, I would, I would rather you go into maybe just saying a little bit about the history and letting them know um, when Ramones came about and just about mm -hmm. a little bit about Mr. Richard and Miss Gina and, um, you know, the resort. When, um, Ramones, uh, Ramones Village was established back in 1987. And it was an existing property before then that was, that started way back in 1961 and then got destroyed by a hurricane of that year. And, um, and just sat in ruins for several years until just in the uh, very late 70s, um, sorry, early 80s, and then it got uh, bought by the present owner in 1987 and turned it into what Ramon's village is now through stages of, of, of years. But um, we, um, we are, I have to say, an iconic um, hotel in the country, and um, and one of the, the the most visited hotels in 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 the in the island and country itself. Um, it got its name from the from the manager, Mr. Ramon Nunez, who, who passed uh, two years ago. Okay. Um, but he was the the manager of the resort for for all this time and throughout these years, and his name was Ramon Nunez. So. In the, the hotel was named Ramon's Village Resort, and on the, as his because of him. Yeah. Um, and um, and we um, in throughout that time we've had in in two thousand we had um, Hurricane Keith, and, and and before that we had Hurricane Mitch, um, and after Hurricane Keith we've had several other storms that have got have partially um, kind of deterred or, or, or damaged the property somehow, but we've managed to, to rebuild and in this, the same way it was before. Yeah. Um, so it, so Ramon's village has seemingly same. looks like it has remained untouched, but no, <laughs> we've, we've been through several, yeah. several um, natural <laughs> disasters uh, when it comes to hurricane. The biggest one was Keith in 2000. Um, that that really uh, destroyed a lot of our island, um, and, um, and and also Ramon's village. But in, in 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 less than three months, we sprung back together, not just Ramon's, but the entire community, and, and we came back up just in time for our, for our, our tourist season for that year in two thousand. Um, and then, like I said, we went through other hurricanes. Some destroyed piers, and we had to rebuild. Um, others destroyed um, the, the, the thatch roofs and, and again had to rebuild, but always rebuilding in the same 
aesthetics that we started yeah. with as a like, as a village, as a Mayan look village looking community. Yeah. Um, in in twenty in August of twenty thirteen, we had probably our most devastating um, uh, disaster, which was a fire that destroyed more about two thirds of the hotel. Um, again, we we rebuilt in one hundred and one days. We rebuilt back. To, to to what where we are now and probably 225 um, construction workers rebuilding the property um, it is it, it for for us the, the staff and, and, and our repeat customer that was that was probably the most devastating period of our, of, our, of Ramon's village history but but at the same time it just it, it brought a community together it brought us together and we rebuilt and and we have the same repeat customers before we still have them now coming in and seeing the same thing that they left um it, before the fire yeah. um so we're we're we're, we're, we're blessed that 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 we um, that Vermont's village is, is in such a tight knit community and, and that we have a fantastic staff and 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 make sure that the um the, the guests feel loved and welcome and at yeah. home and, and we're, we're very happy for that yeah that's true um it really is a family when you're here um and we're going to go through why we want you to visit us why we want you to come to ramones um we are uh, we offer world class scuba diving, snorkeling, and adventure course to resort guests and island visitors alike. So we're really a resort that's open to both our locals and our international guests um, that come in, um, regardless of where you are staying on the island. Um, you can dine with us at our pineapples restaurant because we have on site restaurant, we have our on site dive shop, we have golf cart, golf cart rental, um, we have a beach spa, we do events, we have um, different room amenities, uh, we have a, a, a lovely, how you say, cafe and fresh water. Lagoon style. style pool. <laughs> um, we have tropicals. That's our smoothie and coffee bar um and so um it really we really are quote unquote all inclusive so you wouldn't really have to leave the, the resort to um to go anywhere if you need anything uh, i would like to i would like to point out that um our our clientele is um is a lot of um we, we get a lot of honeymooners we get uh, a lot of divers of course uh we we're a family oriented hotel and um and adventure seekers especially with uh, where water activities are concerned and um so we do have um like Janelle just mentioned uh, tropicals which is a coffee and smoothie bar as we call it mm -hmm. and um, and in in the property we only um, serve uh, beer and wine we're, we're not oh, much yes. into alcohol and the reason is is because like I said we are a family oriented resort and um, and also high adventure so we know we want we would like for our guests to be safe um, during and and while going out on their sure. high adventures where it be um, uh, the blue hole dive uh, at 130 feet, or or um, the pyramid climbing, uh, or, or um, I should say archaeological um, sites, yeah. sites, which yeah. are 130 feet tall, yeah. probably or maybe higher. Um, so so we would like to take care of our guests, and and, and we do it in that way. Yes, we do. We do. Um, locations in relation to the United States. Um, Belize is accessible daily via American, Delta, Southwest, and United Airlines with direct flights out of the U.S. Gateway cities um, are Atlanta, Dallas, Houston, Los Angeles, Miami, and New York. Flight times range from 2 hours and 15 minutes out of Miami to 5 hours out of Newark. Uh, flights are also available via Copa Airlines connecting through Panama City. Accommodation. Um, our total amount of rooms are currently up to 71, 61 here on our uh, Ramon's um, property and uh, 10 at our Stephen Becky's property right across the street. Our type of rooms range from beachfront, uh, seaside, we have jungle, um, and the room amenities are many. 
Um, we have in-room refrigerators, uh, microwaves, safety deposit boxes, coffee, um, maker. coffee makers. Um, all rooms are air conditioned. We don't have televisions, but that's because we want you to, you know, take a uh, San Pedro by storm and we want you not to be in your room watching television and being on a dive or lounging by the pool or eating at um, pineapples. Um, but then um, our rooms uh, really are, uh, they have that um, Tahitian, I think that's what Mr. That's what it's called, Tahitian flair uh, with attached roofs. Um, some of them are not touched, but most are like the jungle standard, the jungle um, units are. Um, and they're fairly accessible. All it's it's just like a little road map you have to take to be um, in, <laughs> through uh, the village because when um, you know you're here, it, it's a lot of lush uh, tropical. It's jungle, really. And so um, each you, you still feel you're you're together, but you still feel secluded and you still feel secure in being in your uh, separate areas. And so I'm gonna go through just a few pictures of the room, the types of rooms that we have. Um, we have the jungle rooms, and these uh, range from jungle standard rooms to um, jungle family, um, jungle deluxe family, the jungle deluxe rooms, uh, the jungle standard family, and the jungle mini. So some of these rooms, um, you can, it's a joint, so you can have family. So you can be uh, next to each other if you don't want to be apart, uh, and and different sides of the resort. Um, the seaside rooms, we have uh, seaside standards and seaside deluxe rooms. Um, these are with king size beds and then um, we have some with double, to, but no queens, right? It's either two queen beds or, or one king size or one Or one king, yeah, in these rooms. And these are uh, seaside, well, sea, sea views, basically. They're not um, at the front, but you, you're able to see the the, the sea from them. Um, the beachfront rooms, we have our mini suite, um, our beachfront king, our honeymoon cabana, which uh, is basically always booked out throughout the year. Uh, we have our grand suite, and then we have um, our presidential suite, and we also have our guest suite. The presidential, we have two, only two of those. Um, and those are on the higher levels, uh, right up at the beach, the, the top um, levels of our, uh, of our, what, cabanas. our cabanas. Um, and then um, those are the two uh, top levels that are really, I'd say they have um, a small kitchenette. They have um, a king size bed. They have a living, like lounge living space. Mm -hmm. um, and they have balconies that you can, you know, come outside and then you can sit and view the, the, uh, the, the lovely Caribbean sea. Um, here is a site map and it just shows you where we are in relation to where everything is, all our rooms um, and our codes are at the bottom. This will be also uh, given to, well, our Cardona agents, your Cardona agent will have um, a site map as well, just in case you're, you want to know the types of rooms that we do have and where they are. Um, Stephen Becky's, that's our next door, uh, or sister property, call it. Yes. yes, you'd call it our sister property. And that's located right across the street. Um, the style of the Cottage, well, the cottages are like British colonial cottages. It has a courtyard with a pool in the center. And um, one of the things that you do want to note is that all the amenities that are available here at Ramon's Village are also accessible by those staying at Stephen Becky's. So you can just walk right, walk right up across the street and you're able to um, still enjoy a pool, still able to enjoy um, diving, still able to do golf cart rentals and enjoy the restaurant and uh, the the bar, the our, our gift shop, and um, those different amenities that we do have. Is there anything more? Yeah. No, we have a total of 10, 10 rooms over at Stephen Becky's. Uh, they all have queen size beds, two queen size beds in each room. It's perfect for groups um, that are that would want to um, to stay kind of stay at Ramos, but be kind of apart from from 
maybe the, 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 the rest of the guests that are here, um, and, and it's, um, it's, it's very comfortable. Alrighty. Um, getting into our amenities. Um, our room amenities, uh, when you come into Ramon's, um, you're greeted by those at the front desk and there are able they're able to help you with whatever inquiries you may have maybe you want to know um, a restaurant on the island that would be good to um, go to maybe you want to know the, 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 the hot spots here on the island to maybe um, hang out and lounge and our front desk is able to help you with any information that you may need um, and if you don't want to come out of your room you can just dial zero and they'll be there to help you too um, you're in your room you have uh, safety, safety deposit boxes. There is wireless service, and that's actually all around the property, not just in your room. So you, anywhere you go ar uh, around the property, you're able to access um, Wi-Fi. Uh, we have daily laundry service. Um, if you want, you're, you can get a wake-up call from our front desk. If you maybe you have to go on a tour today and you need a call, or maybe you have a meeting that you need to um, zoom in for, uh, they're able to give you a wake up call for that. We have room service as well. Um, each room, when you are when you come into the room, uh, there's ice, but you can also access that free of uh, charge at the bar. Um, and then you're able to make phone calls from the front desk. And uh, we, all, we also have on-site security um, throughout 24 hours, uh, seven days a week. So um, you're safe here. Uh, on the grounds, we have a variety of amenities um, and ranges from our divers, which we spoke about in the be beginning, our uh, Raman's Village divers, uh, the pineapples on the beach restaurant, our Tropicals coffee and smoothie bar, Tiki Turtle Trading Company, and that's one of our good shops. The other one is on the pier by the um, dive shop, which is a Raman's Village Outfitters. Uh, golf cart rentals, which we have at the front um, when you're coming into the resort. Our beach spa, which would um, you'd need to make an appointment ahead of time for, but that can be done with our front desk. Um, we have our freshwater swimming pool, and we also have event planning. So we're going to go on a little tour of Ramones. And... Um, we started off with Ramon's divers in the beginning because that's one of the things that we're known for. And um, we have different types of services. We have local dives, we do fishing, we do snorkeling, the blue hole excursion, turn FM excursions. We have mainland excursions and those are um, vast and we have a range of them. Um, you know, because many of them go to people, people love going to the archeological sites that we do have here and we have a, a quite an, an amount of them here in Belize. Um, and that's one of, you know, one of the things that I, I besides diving, we offer. Um, we're open daily and we go from seven in the morning to 5 p.m. Um, if you'll see, I said, here's Rick and Rick's our supervisor. He's been with us for how many years now? Years. Probably 30 over, years ago. <laughs> over 20 years, Rick has been here and he's been the dive shop supervisor. So. Um, that's the familiar face that you'd see whenever you go to the dive shop. Uh, and if you're a repeat guest, Rick is always here. Um, and for more information on any of our excursions, any of our dives, any of our tours, your Cardona agent will have all of that. There's Pineapples on the Beach, that's our restaurant. And um, we have outdoor, outdoor seating as well as indoor. Um, you can enjoy the view while you wait for one of the exquisite meal options Chef Romy whips up in the kitchen. And Chef Romy <laughs> has also been with us for many years. So what you'll see, um, we, you, you'll notice is that Ramon's uh, staff, they're here. And when they're here, they're committed and they're here for many years because that's how much we love our job and that's how much we love what we do. And um, Mr. Richard and Miss Gina, they're just uh, amazing people. And the people who run the, the, the resort are just as amazing, you know, um, on the grounds. So um, yeah, Chef Romy uh, has been here with us for a while. Um, our signature, what we're known for, I'd say, on the island is um, our signature dinner on a, uh, dinner on a stone with your choice of steak, shrimp, chicken, or a combo of um, any of those. 
I think I inserted a picture <laughs> of the 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 um the dinner on the stone. Uh, we're open daily for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we open boat. Uh, we're open boat to guests and locals. So um, you'll see the occasional local come in and dine with us as well. Um, not from now on, from now now and again. We also have a vegan menu available for those not into, you know, um, meat and that kind of stuff. Um, our opening hours for breakfast go from 6 to 11. For lunch, it's 11 to 2. And for dinner, it's 5 to 9. And we have some um, packages that you can purchase with meals as well. So breakfast, yes. you, you're able to, um, with your packages, you're able to uh, put in breakfast and lunch. Dinner, dinner would be separate. Yeah. So the Caradona agent would be able to explain more of that to you. Yes, we do. Um, we do offer um, live uh, entertainment on Tuesdays, uh, which is a local um, uh, band that plays, and also um, on Saturdays, and that is a more of a Caribbean, also a local band with more Caribbean right flavor. Yeah. Um, and then on Sundays, we normally would have our, our buffet and we have instrumental music, live instrumental music on Sundays. And that's, that's the entertainment we have, which really only goes up to a uh, night time. It only goes up to nine o'clock at night because we're not into that big <laughs> loud music. <laughs> um, and then um, we, go, we go over right beside pineapples is tropicals. There's a little picture of tropicals there on the um, the, by the deck. Um, and we're a full coffee and smoothie bar. We have lattes, cappuccinos, specialty coffees. Um, like Mr. Ainer had said before, we don't sell hard liquor, but we do have beers and wines, sodas and waters and that kind of stuff because of uh, a fam being a family oriented um, resort. We want to keep within that realm of just um, keeping home with the high adventure <laughs> tours that most of our guests do. And then uh, here is just a few pictures of our different departments. We have a business center and that's located in the lobby. So you're able to access that whenever while you're on property. We have our golf cart rentals, like I said before, that's located at the front of our property. Um, our Rabon's Village Outfitters, uh, that's on the pier. And then we have our TK Turtle Trading Company, which um, has one of the largest um, varieties of souvenirs here on the island. So Miss Gina really um, handpicks and, and looks at just um, what she would feel, you know, guests would remember Belize by. And there's a lot of souvenirs, a lot of things in there. Um, you might go in there maybe just wanting to get one thing, but come out with maybe a few things because it's just so many little intricate little uh, souvenirs that are in there that you know, really are just nice to have and to take home as reminders of your visit to Belize and to Ramos. We, we also have an extensive um, um, inventory of, of t-shirts yeah. uh, that I say that are just um, trademark, just custom made just for us here at Ramos and Ramos Village Divers and, and our, our department. So that is, uh, it's, 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 it's very fun to even pick yourself a t-shirt for tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, we have our big spa, uh, and that's by appointment appointments only. Um, it's open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. There's um, Mary and um, Lar Laurie, who takes care of you. Um, the services include massages, facials, pedicures, manicures, um, and you're able to do just a, ra a wide range of packages. If you want to maybe do a couple's massage and that kind of stuff for honeymooners, that's one of the ones that are really popular, you know, um, couples decide to do massages together. Um, so our beach spa is located at the front of the property, right by the beach side, and it has its own little um, cabana where you're able to, you know, get pampered by the ladies. And then, um, our final, well, I guess department or amenity here um, is event planning. We do events as well. Um, that's what I do really. Um, and we have a lot of people who come for weddings. Um, they come for, you know, group trips. Um, and, and we do luncheons. We do um, seminars. We do a bunch, a, a wider range of um, events here. So 
if you want an event done and uh, maybe you want to get married at Ramones, I'm your girl. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you a few pictures of our beautiful resort. Um, the middle picture here at the top would be that of the Grand Deluxe, um, this one, right? The premier. Yes. And that's one of those um, sea view uh, rooms. And it's just one of the, the really good ones that are... Um, you go up there and you're so captivated by the view that you really just, it's, you don't want to leave. <laughs> Our honeymoon cabana, that those are two on, on the furthest end of the um, the resort. And those are both with king beds and views to the, the um, sea as well. Uh, here just shows you a few pictures of the resort itself up here and just views of our boats and um, outside views of our presidential suite and the pool. And so for any information that you have or any questions, um, we'd be able to answer a few for you, but uh, you can contact your Caradona agent for pricing and packages as well. And so we can move into the questions. Um, you can let us know what you're, what you're dying to know from us. Thank you so much. Wonderful presentation, Janelle and Aina. Um, really, your Belizean warmth comes through on the presentation. <laughs> so thank you so much. No, um, really the property is amazing. Um, the blue hole diving, when I first came to work for Caradonna 16 years ago, all day, every day, anything that anybody wanted to book was Belize and blue hole diving. Um, so we know that Belize is not open yet, but you have received your gold certification gold standard we certification have. yes we have and so um we went through an extensive uh application process and, that, training. and, and training so our staff um we've trained our staff to to be able to provide um safety protocols and put that in place and be aware of our guests and um our guests safety and their safety as well um we're able to um now uh, look at our resort as one of the gold standard uh, certified resorts because of all of the work that we're doing and all of the work that we're continuing to going to do with training of our staff and just updating them on um, you know what it is to be a gold standard uh, recognized resort here in Belize. And that's really great. It's good that they are actually implementing those kind of policies so our clients can feel very secure that when they're booking a Ramones trip now for travel in the future or, um, you know, plan to go at some point, they know that they're, that you guys have all met that standard. Um, and like I said, you know, with the, the international destinations probably being delayed to open, uh, looking for, you know, closer to home destinations when Belize does open. I would say all of you that booked the Blue Hole trip 16 years ago to come back and book again, because that dive just looked <laughs> just amazing in the video. I mean, really, really incredible. But at this point, we're going to have our agent, Kim Mackey, join us, and she will um, bring up some of the questions that came on, on during the presentation. So go ahead, Kim. All right, thanks, Elisa. I think you guys covered most of it, but we did have a question from Cynthia on Facebook, and she wants to know what the native language of Belize is. The native, yeah, the native is a dialect that we um, that we speak. It's kind of a um, mix between English and, and, um, and yeah. Uh, well, well. Um, Creole, we call it Creole, and, and the way I could only explain it is um, it's it's a form of um, broken English. Broke, uh -huh, broken English. It's a form of broken English. So some words you'd be able to understand because they derive from English words. Um, Everyone speaks English. English is our official language. language yeah. uh, but uh, if Janelle and I would start a conversation, uh, we would speak in, in Creole. Creole. Yes. So that's how we talk. <laughs> yes. All right, and we had a few questions about the diving. Um, one question is, when is the best time to go to Belize for diving? And also, if you have any shore diving. No, we, we don't have any shore diving. Uh, the reef is really just about a quarter mile from, from the shoreline, and you can actually see the reef from, from anywhere on the island. Mm -hmm. um, so the dive sites are, are really five, 10, 15 minutes away by boat. Um, and, um, 
and no, there's no shore diving. Um, dive times, you know, it, it's it's really hard to say when not to come. I think I think any day or any time is a good time to dive. Um, it, March tends to be kind of a, 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 a windy. It's yeah. a busiest it's month, yeah. but it also it tends to be busy. Uh, windy, sorry, March and April. Um, the, the, the rainy season is uh, June, July, sometimes in December and January. Um, and then we have the hurricane season um, yeah. from, from June to, to November, November yeah. but our peak is really in October. Mm -hmm. And honestly, October is the best, the, for me, the best weather time to come diving. So it's really hard to say. And I would say any day is a good diving day. Here in Belize, it's always a good Our visibility <laughs> is, uh, is uh, stretches up to uh, more than 100 feet. Um, you know, so it's it really, um, if we if the water is not choppy, then visibility is always very good. Okay, and what about snorkeling? Do you have snorkeling off the beach or is that also only by boat? And can the uh, snorkelers go on the boat with the divers or is that just a separate boat? When we, 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 we can't, you, we, at the end of the dock, we've created yeah. kind of like an artificial reef. So uh, yeah. our guests can, can snorkel at the end of our pier mm -hmm. for, for free. And, and, and some of our guests just spend hours with, right, yeah. right there just <laughs> going do. under the dock and seeing all, all the, 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 the marine life that is there. But yes, snorkeling can be done, and, and, and sometimes, especially going to the whole Chan Marine Reserve and even to the Blue Hole, we combine uh, with divers and snorkelers. Um, and um, we also have different snorkeling spots, like, for example, Mexico Rocks, which is another um, of our marine reserves, which is a little bit uh, up, up north and a little bit yeah. further out of town. Um, and those are available um, snorkeling. Um, Normally, our snorkeling trips and including our dive trips leave at nine o'clock in the morning and at two o'clock in the afternoon. And they're roughly like um, two and a half hours. Um, but the, the, the Ho Chan Marine Reserve is the place to go snorkeling. You'll see tons of, 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 of fish and, um, and marine life. And then there's an extra that's added onto it, which is uh, just uh, like five minutes away from there which is like an add-on to the trip and a snorkeling trip, and we call it the shark ray alley. And that's where we feed the nar sharks and, and rays, and they literally, they come up to the surface of the water and and, and beg for food, and, 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 and you swim with them if you're brave enough. enough. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, great. And then I think the only other thing we had was um, regarding restaurants that are off site. Um, do you have other local restaurants that guests can walk to? Um, if so, how far is it? Is it safe in the evening to, to walk alone down the streets or, or how does that work? Yes, you know, it's, it's, it, I have to say, and I'm proud to say that it's hard not to recommend a restaurant yes. in town so. because the food is really, <laughs> really, really good. good. Yeah. Um, and and there's, a, there's, I don't know, maybe more than 50 restaurants in town um, our ones of choice, and I can name the three ones that are top of my head, would be um, Elvis Kitchen, which is probably the most yes. popular restaurant out in town. Yeah. Um, and then there's El Fogon, which uh, serves authentic food. Um, and then there's um, there's other local um, eateries like um, Caramba and Caliente, Estelle's mm -hmm. by the sea um, in town. All of them are within yeah. walking distance. The closest to us, um, there's a blue water grill at Sunbreeze, which is really yeah. just like three minutes away. And then if you walk a further, two minutes would be El Fogon and mm -hmm. Elvis Kitchen would be maybe four minutes yeah. away yeah. from El Fogon. Right. So everything is within a five to a 15 minute walk, either down the, uh, down the beach or on the roadside. Okay, that sounds great. Um, I think that's all we had, so I'll send it back to you, Elisa. All righty, thank you, Kim. I know Kim has been answering questions online as well, so the, they are recorded on our Facebook live stream. 
Um, once again, thank you so much. And we did do a presentation with um, Belize Hotel Association and um, a lot of the videos that were on there went into the Mayan archeological sites and a few other things that you mentioned. So we can rerun those videos. They're on our YouTube if anyone wants to take a look at them because they, they really tell the story of, of everything there is to offer. Um, in Belize, but thank you both so much. I know you should just drop in for a minute so everybody can see your face. <laughs> Hi, hello, I, I'm a real person. <laughs> but very, thank you, a lot everybody. Of information. All right, well, thank, thank you both so much and, and we hope to bring you a lot of business and see you both soon. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for Take visiting. Bye-bye. Bye.